And only if you could see when they will be made to stand in front of the fire or the day of judgment. Then they will say, Oh, would that Nurada, that we are returned back to the earth, to, our, to the world. Then we shall not belie the signs of our Lord. Because now they will, have, they will see the, with their own eyes the fire of hell. And we shall become you know, believers. Actually, it will become apparent for them what they were hiding in their hearts. Now this is, you know, in their hearts they also knew that whatever Muhammad is saying is correct. I told you what is kufr, to hide something, to cover it with something, to suppress the truth. Something within you says, oh, whatever he is saying, it is correct. And it happens to most of us. When there is an argument between me and you, and at the, at the height of the argument, you know, I feel, well, what is he is saying is correct. But how can I admit? It means I have lost, he has gained, he is victorious. He will dominate me. And then you say, I said, no, no. My heart is saying yes. My tongue would be saying no. So actually whatever Muhammad Wasallam was preaching, their hearts, their souls, they were saying yes to it. But they were hiding it, suppressing it. No. What will it mean? He will be above us then. We will have to follow him then. What about our positions? What about, you know, our... All interests, vested interests, they will all go. And if they are returned back to the, the world, they will do the same which they were doing. They, are, they will be telling a lie. And they say, there is no life except this life of ours of this world and we are not going to be resurrected. So there were also all types of people. People believing in resurrection but with resurrection that there will be intercessors, these gods, they will help us and they will save us from the punishment of Allah. But there were people also who didn't accept this idea of resurrection. They said, no, no, impossible. When our bodies will decay, our bones will decay. How is it possible? Do you say that our forefathers will also be resurrected? This is not going to happen. And only if you could see when they will be made to stand before their Lord. Allah will ask, is it not the truth? You were denying no resurrection. Is the resurrection not come to true? They will have to reply, why not? Indeed. By you, O oh our Lord, by you, we swear by you. That this has come to be true. Then Allah will say, Now taste the chastisement and punishment with, with, with what you were belying, with what you were denying. Definitely, those have put them in, in loss, put themselves in loss, who are denying. The meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are not going to meet him. Hatta iza jaat musah. So that when that appointed hour comes to them. Now this saah, two saahs. Just as I told you, two ajals. Ajal, personal ajal. That. And the whole world. That is qiyamah. The hour for me and you. The death. It is also an appointed hour. 
And the Prophet has been reported to have said, Mamata Fakat Kamat Kayamat, who dies, his Kayamat has happened. And then the, the hour, the appointed hour, that is of the doomsday. And it will come at once, suddenly. They will say, Alas for us, we belittled it, we neglected it. And they will be carrying their burdens on their backs, burdens of sins. Listen, beware. It will be a very bad burden that they will be carrying on their backs. You say this is only life. While Allah says, This life of this world is nothing but a play and an amusement as compared to the life of hereafter. That is eternal. This is limited. 30 years, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, maybe one in thousand reaching hundred, that's all, finished. And that life is real. This life is like the drama of three hours. Somebody is acting as a king, the other one as a servant. There's a drama. After three hours, the king ceases to be king and the servant ceases to be servant. They put off the robes, both are the actors, nothing else. In the same way in this world, somebody high, somebody low, some rich, some poor. But you know, death the leveler. When death will come, all will be buried in the clay. The bodies will decay and become a part and parcel of the clay, where from they had come originally. <laughs> And the house of the hereafter is much better for those who have taqwa. So don't you understand? Don't you use your intellect? 